Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Yeah, damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for How you gonna move for What you gonna be And do you believe Number 7 Baral Eyes Fish, in a new paper by Bruce Robison and Dr. Giant Freshwater Stingray Record 530 pounds by Yuri Grizendi in this amazing clip of Catfish World, Yuri Grizendi fight a really huge monster stingray which is over 530 pounds. After one hour and a half of man versus fish tug of war fight, the giant Mekong stingray monster fish finally gave up and the fish impressively huge dimensions are over 2 meters and 240 kilograms. The giant freshwater stingray is an amazing fish that live in the delta of Mekong River in Thailand near Bangkok. The Mekong freshwater stingray is the largest freshwater species on Earth. This specimen can reach 16.5 feet 5 meters long and weigh up to 1,320 pounds 600 kilogram. These ancient freshwater giant monster stingray fish had changed little over many millions of years. These giant monster fishes are restricted to the Mekong and Chao Phraya rivers in Laos and Thailand. The Mekong freshwater stingray preys on invertebrates and is a placental viviparous. It has been assessed as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature (IUCN) as it is threatened by overfishing and habitat degradation. They often bury themselves in sandy or silted river bottoms and breathe through holes, or spiracles, located on top of their bodies. Stingrays locate prey, usually clams and crabs, with a sensor that can detect an animal's electrical field. Though stingrays do not readily attack humans, they are one of the few megafishes that can pose a real danger to those who handle them. Each ray sports a deadly barb on the base of its tail that can easily penetrate human skin and even bone, much like a hunting arrow. This stinger can be as long as 15 inches, 38 centimeters, and typically introduces toxins. Number 5 is Vampiro Tuthus Infernalis means the vampire squid. The squid eats drifting particles called marine snow. The vampire squid is a small cephalopod found throughout temperate and tropical oceans in extreme deep sea conditions. The vampire squid can reach a maximum total length around 30 centimeters. 1 feet. The vampire squid is an extreme example of a deep sea cephalopod. It is found at aphotic lightless depths from 600 to 900 meters, 2000 to 3000 feet, or more. Within this region of the world's oceans is a discrete habitat known as the oxygen minimum zone. To cope with life in the suffocating depths, vampire squids have developed several interesting adaptations. Their metabolic rate is the lowest and their blue blood's hemocyanin binds and transports oxygen more efficiently than in other cephalopods, aided by gills with an especially large surface area. Number 4, is the gulp real. This is, is one of the most bizarre looking creatures in the deep sea, estimated to be found at depth from 500 to 3000 meters, 1600 to 9800 feet. They can be found in the temperate and tropical areas of all oceans. The gulper or pelicanil's most notable feature is its large mouth, which is much larger than its body. The mouth is loosely hinged and can be opened wide enough to swallow a fish much larger than the eel itself. In spite of its gigantic mouth, it is believed that the gulper eel's diet consists mainly of small crustaceans. Since the eel has very tiny teeth, it probably does not eat large fish on a regular basis. The large mouth may be an adaptation to allow the eel to eat a wider variety of prey when food is scarce. The pelican eel is very different in appearance from true eels. It lacks pelvic fins, swim bladders, and scales. The gulper pelican eel also has a very long, whip-like tail.
Number 3. The Deep Sea Squid Magnapina SP. The first visual record of the long arm alien looking squid dates back to September 1988. Estimates of their size was based on video evidence with the total length of the largest specimens at 8 meters, 26 feet, or more. The crew of the submersible Nautile encountered a long armed squid off the coast of northern Brazil at a depth of 4,735 meters, 15,535 feet. In November 1998, the Japanese manned submersible Shinkei 6500 filmed another long arm squid in the Indian Ocean south of Mauritius, at 32 degrees 45 south 57 degrees 13 east and 2,340 meters 7,680 feet. A third video taken from the remotely operated underwater vehicle rod of the oil drilling ship Millennium Explorer in January 2000, at Mississippi Canyon in the Gulf of Mexico. 28 degrees 37 north 88 degrees 00 west at 2195 meters 7201 feet however in may 2001 some 10 minutes of crisp footage of a long-armed squid were acquired by rob t Bureau, run causing a flurry of attention when they were released these were taken in the pacific ocean north of oahu hawaii 21 degrees 54 north 158 degrees 12 west at 3380 meters 11,090 feet Number 2. The giant squid The largest giant squid ever recorded by scientists was almost 43 feet, 13 meters, long, and may have weighed nearly a ton they remain elusive and are rarely seen. Most of what we know comes from dead carcasses that floated to the surface and were found by fishermen the giant squid second only to the colossal squid at an estimated 14 meters, 46 feet, one of the largest living organisms. In 2004, Japanese researchers took the first images of a live giant squid in its natural habitat, and in July 2012, a live adult was first filmed in its natural habitat off Chichijama. In 2015, another video sighting was released. In June 2019, scientists reported the video appearance, for the second time, and for the first time in waters of the United States, of a giant squid in its deep water habitat. Giant squid can snatch prey up to 33 feet, 10 meters, away by shooting out their two feeding tentacles, which are tipped with hundreds of powerful sharp-toothed suckers. These feeding tentacles are very long, often doubling the total length of the giant squid on their own. Eight thick arms speckled with two, inch wide toothed suckers, guide prey from the feeding tentacles to a sharp beak in the center of the arms, where the prey is sliced into bite-sized pieces. The giant squid has a sophisticated nervous system and complex brain, attracting great interest from scientists. It also has the largest eyes of any living creature except perhaps the colossal squid, up to at least 27 centimeters, 11 inch, in diameter, with a 9 centimeter, 3.5 inch, pupil. Only the extinct ichthyosaurs are known to have had larger eyes. Large eyes can better detect light, including bioluminescent light, which is scarce in deep water. The giant squid probably cannot see color. Number 1, The Blob a Paris Zoo showcased a mysterious new organism called a blob, a yellowish unicellular small living being which looks like a fungus but acts like an animal. And do you remember Spider-Man's black blob as well? The blob has one cell, no brain, but yet can learn to navigate very complex mazes in a few hours on its ever quest for food. The blob also has no mouth, no stomach, no eyes, yet it can detect food and digest it. It's called a slime old, Fissurum polycephalum a single-celled organism capable of growing up to square meters in size, though most specimens don't grow beyond a few square centimeters or inches. They're found all over the world, usually on the undersides of leaves and logs. The slime mold blob also has almost 720 sexes, can move without legs or wings and heals itself in two minutes if cut in half. Bruno David, director of the Paris Museum of Natural History said, The blob is a living being which belongs to one of nature's mysteries. It surprises us because it has no brain but is able to learn and if you merge two blobs, the one that has learned will transmit its knowledge to the other, David added. To capture food, slime molds stretch out long veins and through that can squiggle around obstacles or through mazes with surprising efficiency. 
In one 2010 study, scientists laid out dollops of oatmeal in a pattern representing Tokyo and the 36 surrounding towns. When let loose to feed, the slime mold branched out in a network similar to Tokyo's existing train system, connecting the food piles with impressive efficiency. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more.